Showers and everything are back there. Where's yours? I'm like right over here. Do you want to get a camera or shall I? Yeah, come on. Yeah. All right. Who's it? Pretty sad, bro. Hello, here. Flippy, go ahead. How you doing? How you doing, Nico? Sheldon. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Not bad, though, huh? What's going on, T20? I hope you're all super well. Today's video, obviously, I'm at Matt Sheldon's place. If you don't know Matt, he owns a channel called Become Elite. The link for that will be in the description. He's a professional player playing for Tulsa Roughnecks FC in the USL League. Is it USL League One? No, championship. The USL Championship. He's on the toilet right now. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go through Matt's preparation for his game today, playing against. Who are you playing against? <laughs> Fresno, so they're coming second, and Matt's team is. What are you guys coming? Yeah. Uh, bottom, bottom. All right. I think last time I checked, they were second last, something like that. So it's going to be a tough game for them. But I'm going to take you guys through Matt's preparation, a bit of behind the scenes. So right now it's about 12:45. We had three eggs. You had three eggs. Yeah, three eggs with two veggie patties that he absolutely loves. These things right here, and they're actually really good. I had one of them as well. And apart from that, he's just been working today, working on Become Elite, his brand, and that's about it. He also had a fair few peanuts, kept hydrated, and that's really been it. Hasn't done a whole lot, woke up at 8.30. Let's see the next day. We'll get him on camera in a sec. So we got the man playing with his cut right now. So you ready for the game today? Take us through your thoughts of how you're feeling. Yeah, I'm feeling really good. I had a game, was it three days ago? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Las Vegas, so like we literally played that full 90 minute, game, 90 minute game and it was really tough. And then basically had a recovery session, light session on Friday, and then today now my body's feeling decent, yeah. but still like, it's just kind of like- And you've li literally chilling. done nothing this morning. Yeah, I've just <laughs> worked, I just ate, sat, and worked. And <laughs> Watch TV and that's about it. Yeah, now so, I'm about to take a nap, so. Yeah, it's that's a it. Stressful day, but literally, like you'll see, it's just so nothing. Yeah, like, so, especially when you have game after game after game like I'm this. sure, true behind the scenes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let's go on to the next part. Yeah, now I'm gonna sleep. All right, he's waking. How's your sleep, man? It's great. How, how are you feeling? I feel ready to go. Right. Perfect. That's the perfect amount of time. My alarm, I think, is going to go off in... Let me see. My alarm is going to go off in... Oh, no, I did. Yeah, 150 in three minutes. Oh, so, so you woke up by yourself, and you reckon that's better? Yeah, uh, whatever. I think yeah. whatever works. <laughs> right. So lunchtime now? Yeah, I'm going to make a little lunch, because it's... Let's see, it's 2 o'clock, so then game kickoffs to like in like five hours. So I'll get plenty of time to digest, and I might have a small little snack. Ooh. Around like three or four. But. Right. Well, well, we'll keep track with that. Oh, yeah. Say hello to the world. <gasps> so, lunchtime, what are you cooking up? Reheating up uh, dinner from last time. <laughs> <laughs> Take us through it. It's chicken breast, bell peppers or capsicum, whatever yeah. you want to say. And then I'm doing basmati rice. Right. Is it's, this the same thing you do every time or is it this uh, dip? I, honestly, for lunch, I'll either have chicken veggies and some form of rice and it might be asparagus or something or it's like pasta or it might be like salmon with something but it's it's always oh, yeah. protein white rice yeah yeah so it's fundamental some, stuff yeah. nothing fancy nothing fancy well, there we I, go. like nice. i've told i've been telling you i've been telling sheldon my diet is so boring boring <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to put it <laughs> yeah so boring oh dear but it works that's what i like it's so mid-afternoon, 3 o'clock. I've got my lunch, starting to digest. Now I like to get a little bit of coffee in me, so I'm gonna go to a little coffee shop, get a small cappuccino. Um, it's also nice to kind of get out of the house once before the game. So, gonna get out of the house, get a nice little cappuccino, and then we're gonna get lunch for Sheldon, because he probably doesn't want to just have boring chicken and white rice and veggies. <laughs> Is it always a coffee that you go outside for, or do you go for a walk, or what's usually the go? Um, Sometimes, like if for whatever reason I'm feeling like really tired, then I'll um, 
I'll like maybe go to the gym and do like a really, really light, like five minutes on the bike, do a little bit of foam rolling and stretching and stuff. But honestly, most of the time, it's just kind of stay inside and chill. eat, chill, and just stay low until the game. Yeah, um, right. But it always works for me. I mean, I've kind of had the mentality like you should be able to ready to play no matter what, you know? Can I just get this and then uh, a medium cappuccino, please? Thank you. Thank you. Tall cappuccino. Oh, that's tall, that's like the Starbucks. I got a medium cappuccino and I got coffee beans. Whew, good stuff, mate. All right, so I just finished a shower. I always like to shower before every single game, like away games and home games, because I feel like it just makes me feel fresh and like, you know, the grogginess out of me. So it's almost a ritual. It's... Oh yeah, but at the same time, if I don't shower, it's not like, oh my God, I haven't showered. It's just okay. like, I like the feeling. Cold shower, like, hot shower? Just normal hot shower, normal five, 10 minute shower. Okay. And uh, yeah, then I just kind of like get changed, get dressed. And other than that, it's five, five o'clock on the dot. So we leave in 15 minutes. So I just pretty much put on some clothes and then take my toiletry bag and my boots and head off to the stadium. Oh, gotta go. Driving into the ground now, we got a bit of pre-game music. A little bit. Well, we did. <laughs> What's your sort of routine with that? Yeah, I, uh, I'm super, super laid back and casual with everything. Like, I don't like to be pumped up. I don't like crazy music. I don't overthink anything. I just really, like what you said, like like five minutes ago, just you just chill, like just chill, chill out. So listen it. to whatever music pops up on shuffle and. Vibe. Yeah. I'm excited, but not too excited. Like you just want those good vibes. That's yeah, it. Good vibes. Good vibes. Going to train. <laughs> going into training. Going to the game. Going to the. Yeah, yeah. See, that's how laid back you are. You think you're going into training. Yeah. Exactly. This is another <laughs> training session. You know. And then we're in the car park. Yep. Players car like park. This. Players car park. There you go. I honestly take it for granted a little bit. Yeah. You know, like that you're here, but uh, no. It's, this is exciting. Really Damn. Exciting. I just wish if it just was a soccer specific stadium, it would be so much better. Yeah. But yeah. Woo. You'll probably sit like right up here. Up here? But yeah, yeah. Awesome. I'm just going to leave this recording and just get whatever. Yeah. Nice little setup though, you know? It's not that decent. Dude, six of those arms. I can say hi to everyone who has the grip socks. <laughs> yeah. It's the tunnel. Is this where you go out on the field? Right out there, yeah. Oh, damn. Can we get a look at that from here? Yeah, you want to walk out there real quick? Yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. This is I like this part though. Dude, this is sick. So what are your thoughts when you're walking through here? Um, just get a little butterflies. Yeah, it's exciting. But it's, uh, it's cool. I like the drum one. It'd be really cool if you had 10,000 people yeah. and you could really hear it. But, okay. Oh, actually, I just want to like that. What? What? You guys are glad. But this is a difficult deal. I played with, he played at Sacramento Republic with me. What was he saying? Something about the camera? Alright. Is it a pro baseball Yeah, they're pro Yeah, so I'll go to the other end. Okay, and we'll go. And watch him sprint after you. Like, sprint after you. Do you want to take it in? No, Versace is coming. Like a training room and then uh, showers and everything are back there. 
Where's yours? Do you want to get a camera or shall I? No. Right. Hello. 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 Look at this. Controls on the chest. There's Ellis Aiden. Head up. Ball played in towards the far post. Chavez is there. A header and a goal. Chavez has made things level in the 28th minute on a brilliant ball from Ellis Aiden. Also, look at the movement here of Chavez in between the two. Here's Uzo with the early look. De Costa looking for the brilliant ball. Running onto it is Marlon Perez, and he scores. And the roughneck strike early in the second half. Well, Pop, that's one of the biggest cheers I've heard for a long time at uh, One Oak. That is a popular goal for. <laughs> Honestly, this is the, the best day I've had in a long time. Honestly, in, two, in 2019, the best day I've had in 2019. Jeez. Yeah, that's the best day. It's the best feeling. Uh -huh. I was um, after the game. I actually, I like that was the first time I've been like emotional after a win. I saw. Yeah. Like that huddle that you guys had yeah, after the game. Yeah, it was it was crazy. I don't so. think I've ever seen a team come together and huddle like that after a win. Yeah. It's yeah. usually just like yeah, you high five each other and go around, but you guys went in huddled. Crazy. It's just been so long, and like so many games, we've like should have tied and lost, and so many times we should have won to just end up tying, and it almost happened again there with the penalty kick. Fire so, out, right. just a, it's a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah. But uh, honestly, the best the best day I've had, honestly, in, in all of 2019. Let's so go! I'm happy. All right, well, go enjoy your shower. Yeah. We'll catch you. I'm glad. I'm glad you came and got yeah, to see yeah. that too. <laughs> right, Good stuff. <laughs> Mate, game done. Did I get Gucci dinner? No. Nah. She's fucking starving. <laughs> You're an idiot. Oh, I'm sorry, Gooch. Anyway, got the dub. Yeah. That's what you went for. How was it? <laughs> Honestly, like I said, the, the field, the best day of 2019. It was amazing. And that was my so that was my yeah. first win as a roughneck because I played the first game of the season. We tied. And then I got injured after that. And then I came back in June. And our, our last win before this was in April. So I've only tied and lost. So when you go through so much and you finally get that win, it's 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 emotional what's it like playing in front of the fans and in a stadium like that because obviously i'm from australia mm -hmm. uh, the stadium is huge like so much space everywhere yeah what's that like it's definitely cool i mean 
we don't have the, we don't have the most fan support in the league, but the fans that we do have are super passionate, and it's you know get to know them almost. It's pretty cool. Mm. Um, but still, you really do feel like a pro, like walking down in the big locker room, which you know is nice. Get the tunnel out to the field, and even though the field's a baseball pitch, and um, it's not like a pack pack real soccer stadium, it's still you really do feel like a really professional environment. It's it's the best. It's the best feeling. So, that is Matt Sheldon's preparation day for a game day and yep. your sort of reaction as well after yeah, yeah, yeah so let me know what you guys think down in the comments i think it like watching this back when i'm editing it it's gonna be so cool to kind of piece it all together and see the process of you preparing for a professional football game yeah yeah so, and then winning two afterwards a good, yeah a good, uh, icing on the cake you know what a game yeah so that's gonna be the vlog if you guys enjoyed it make sure you go down below leave a like on the video subscribe also go down in the description check Matt's video out. He'll be going through a game analysis of his game and oh, yeah. a whole heap of other stuff that he puts on his channel. So the link will be down there. But for now, team tweet, sign out. Make sure you like and subscribe. Now, join Johnny, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Listen.